Well, whoever picked that dog, that was the winner. And I bet the full 90 rupees, so even if you got first or second, you were gonna get, oh my goodness. Pizza Heart. Hey everybody, it's Terry here with True Blind Gaming where we believe the only limit is yourself. And we just finished up the dog race. Thank you guys for the feedback on what dog to pick and everything. Um, I believe that was dog number two. It wasn't the golden hair one, I believe. You guys let me know because I think I got my save dates a little messed up. But that challenge done. Now let's go take on another challenge right next door. So let me get out of here. The door should be over here somewhere. All right. And now we want to head left and head into the Coco house, I guess we'll call this. Okay, and get to the door. That's not to the door. All right, now I'm gonna create three save states here. Now, this part takes some explanation. I have been trying to get the bunny hood for a while now. I tried once in one of my previous videos and said I couldn't do it because I didn't know much about the area and I didn't know how the chickens acted. Um, but Drain, the same person who helped me with the ghosts on the ranch, came up with a method for the cocoa house. And basically this kind of porch area I'm in right now, if you get the chickens to follow you and then bring them up here and then drop them, they kind of stay within this area. So the idea is to go around and collect chickens, bring them into this porch area, leave them until I got all 10 over here. And then once that's done, march around and try to collect all the chickens. You got to do this in a certain amount of time. And I found from practicing this, um, at this time, I have actually not completed it yet. I think I got nine chickens, but then I missed one uh, while practicing. But I get like five or six in here, and then I get like one or two, and then the last couple. And so it only takes me like three or four trips of bringing chickens in here. But let's go ahead and reset. And to initiate this, we're going to just walk forward. Z target. Okay, and then we're gonna jump right a couple times because we want to get to Grog here in the middle. And I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Because we need all the time we can get. Let me try this. Come on, Grog, where are you? There you are. So he's afraid he'll never be able to see his little cocos grow up and uh, chickens or big cocos. So he wants you to. Well, he doesn't. I don't know if he really explains what you have to do. But you need. Oh. You need this mask. Because this is the one where you kind of march around like this. And when you touch the chickens, it actually. Um, makes them follow you But you have to go around and actually touch all the chickens so that I've already got two. I've already got three So I can get three four four uh, Five or six and then I'm gonna start heading back towards the porch So I'm probably gonna jump off camera and just record that way I can be more relaxed and listen better and I will definitely keep the footage going you guys wish me luck <laughs> 